Okay, today we're taking a look at the Marine DOS virus. Now I must apologize, the last time I took a look at this virus, I did a really poor job and missed out on a lot of stuff that this virus does. So this video is an attempt to make up for that. So first things first, before we run the virus, there's a few things we have to take a look at. First and foremost is that this floppy disk in the A drive. We have three separate COM files on them. They're just standard DOS files, just copied over here and renamed, so they're nothing special. And next, we have our two files that it's going to overwrite. We have a C++ file, .cpp extension, and a Pascal file, .pas file. However, these are just plain text. So if we take a look at what they've got in them, you can see it's just a bunch of gibberish that I typed up. So as you can see, this one's just spam. So, now we are pretty much ready to take a look at the virus. Go ahead and run it. And now, Marine will be present in memory and infects all exe and .com files that it finds. We go ahead and change to the DOS directory. Look at our old friend graphics.com. See, it's 19,694. However, Marine is a stealth virus. But watch this bytes free, the memory free we have right here. We'll see that decrease. And it's not because graphics is present me in memory either, it's because mem uh, Marine infects it and just decreases the amount of available memory. So, go and look at it again. So the file size remains the same, however we can see a small decrease in the amount of available memory due to Marine infecting it. So Marine goes about its business infecting all of your executable files, and it has a few fun payloads. First of which activates on June, I believe, the 5th and the 21st. So, let's go ahead and change this. 6594. Alright, that's good. And we gotta restart to see it, so we'll go ahead and do that. Not really, I missed on a lot of stuff, so this should be a pretty good video. The good old seek test on the floppy drive. Okay, so, now that we're booted back into DOS, we can take a look at the first payload. Marine boots up with the system, of course. And now, on these two days, every time you try to do a directory listing on any floppy diskette, you get file not found error. Now, the files are still there and can be manipulated. Test1.com to test4.com. This goes through, it actually renames that file, however, you cannot access them. Oh, actually, I guess you can, but it tries to tell you bad commander file name. I'm not sure what's happening there, but basically it makes your floppy disk drive useless on these two days, which is really annoying because you probably need to be using your floppy disk drive. Second payload activates on every Saturday in June. Something about June, this virus all just liked a lot. So, that's my oh, shit, okay. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, it's Saturday. We'll have to restart one more time. Let's see the payload. Okay, so now we're getting back into DOS here. As you can see, we're using a different version of DOS this time. We're actually using DOS 5. As you can see here, uh, it turns out the virus does not work on 6.22, which I usually use. So this one works just as well for the purpose of these videos. Anyway, onto the payload. Since we booted up, it's already done its thing. And if we take a look at our beloved test.c++ and Pascal files, they are overwritten. So as you can see, just right in the middle it sticks in. There is nothing in the world that I ever wanted more than to never feel breaking apart all my programs again. So, it kept some of the stuff on the beginning and the end, but wiped out a lot of the middle, which would overwrite pretty much any of your uh, Pascal or C++ files. So same thing here, uh, it actually tacked it onto the end of this one. So both would fail to compile, however this one's much more manageable as you could just uh, remove the offending lines at the end of your code and be good to go. However with the C++ files your uh, source would be lost, so hope you had backups of that. And last but not least, the most fun payload of Marine activates in July, any day in July. And we'll go ahead and restart and see what it does. If you saw my last video, you've seen what this does. However, it's slightly more evil than the last video would have you believe. 
So we'll see what it does. And as we boot into DOS, Marine once again takes control and we're going to the sea. I believe that's what that says. And we got this nice boat floating on the ocean. Turning on the brightness a bit here. Maybe that'll stop the flickering a little bit. No, guess not. But makes it a little more visible, I guess. So you got your nice shining sun. Got your boat floating on the sparkling ocean. And uh, while it's doing this, it's uh, encrypting your hard drive, so you lose all your files. Yeah, it's not very nice. Nice relaxing day at the beach. You can feel the sun, play in the water, lose all your data. Just everything you would want in a nice beach trip. So, if you knew what you were looking at, which you probably wouldn't, you could probably shut off your computer pretty quick and not lose many of your files. Actually, I've let this run for about 10 minutes once, and it didn't seem to encrypt a whole lot, but there have, it's been kind of a trade-off between the amount of time you let it do this, between turning it off, I've seen half the DOS directory encrypted, and I've seen no files encrypted, so I don't know what's up with that, but it's certainly not a virus you want to be playing around with, because it has the potential to wipe out all your files. And this nice little Salem boat, go ahead and restart. And we should not be able to boot to the disk, the hard drive here. We'll see what it does. Uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, we're back. Okay, so uh, it didn't encrypt the drive, but it's still going back into this routine. I've seen it hang on boot up. I've seen it do numerous other things so th this virus pretty much does whatever it wants I've wanted to re-record this for about a year now I think and every time I couldn't get this part of the virus to work it was all because Kaspersky lied in their description and said this part activated in June and I could never get it to happen and thanks to Flight CPU Boy you might remember him from submitting a lot of viruses in the past and requesting them to be tested he actually disassembled this for me and took a look at the code and found out it was July and that Kaspersky is just lying to me. They're lying to me to ruin my videos. That's what's happening. But anyway, we got it working, mostly. We didn't see the encryption happen, but who really cares about data loss? Well, it's nice, but not this time. So that is about it for the Marine DOS virus.